Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Thursday. Again, it is the 16th or 18th. I'm sorry, the 18th of July, 2019. So we got breaking news from the Middle East. Okay, um, I was going to be talking about the uh, Iranians had taken over an oil tanker, but information just came in that we, the United States, just shot down a drone that came within a thousand. Freaking mosquitoes! Um, thousand feet of one of our of our ships, so that just happened. So things are accelerating. Things are heating up in the Middle East. Um, so this is uh, very scary times, guys. Um, as you guys, I don't know if you knew or not, on Sunday, uh, the Iranians took over an oil tanker, and it was just reported today. That I think it was today they they admitted that they took over this oil tanker. Okay, it said it had two hundred and twenty-five thousand gallons. Of uh, or of gasoline or oil on the tanker, so that's what I was going to actually do this second video about. And then when you have ah, oh, <laughs> crazy, I'm sorry. It just it's it's been nuts this year. But uh, and I don't do a lot of lotions, guys. So um, you know, people say you skin so soft and other stuff. I don't like a lot of other crap on my body, to be honest with you. So unfortunately, I deal with it. But uh, so anyway. Um, so that's what I was going to, like I said, I was going to talk about originally, but then when we have shot down this drone, uh, you know, that comes about a month after the Iranians shot down one of our drones. So things are definitely uh, accelerating in the Middle East. Not a great situation. Not a great situation at all. Uh, very scary, to be honest with you. So uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on these things, guys, because uh, things can amp up and heat up very, very quickly from this point. Uh, it, and like I said, anything can happen from one minute to the next. You just never know what is going to happen, what's going to be uh, that catalyst that's going to set things off. And uh, stuff like this, um, you know, us shooting down their drone now, and uh, what is going to be the response from that. Like I said, them taking over an oil tanker on Sunday, and they, like I said, they just admitted that they did it today. So things are definitely heating up and not for the better. Uh, cooler heads don't look like they're prevailing, which is not a good thing. Uh, we definitely don't need a, a war situation, unfortunately. Uh, that looks like that is where we are headed. You know, um, I had talked, you know, before when this other stuff happened, I said that logistically I felt that they were moving the chess pieces into play. Well, guess what? The chess pieces are there now. If they were moving anything into play, they're in play. And, um, so things can accelerate very, very quickly from this point forward. And we're just going to have to see what happens. But uh, very scary situation, very, very dangerous situation. And, uh, you know, just unbelievable. So I want to talk about a couple things here, too, while I was thinking about it. You know, and I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this situation with Iran. What do you think? Um, is this, like I say, the next jumping off point? Are we, we're, it, it looks, unfortunately, like we're headed for a full-blown conflict uh, with Iran. That's what it looks like. Uh, on, hopefully, I'm going to say let's keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't happen, but it's definitely looking that way. And things can change in a heartbeat, guys. Just like this here, uh, this is the latest acceleration. And uh, it's very, very frightening. So, but I did want to talk about a couple things, too. YouTube. Oh, YouTube continues to play games what they do um, this is the latest thing I had somebody else contact me yesterday said they had uh, you know didn't see any videos up for me for a while so they thought that they would check and lo and behold they had been unsubscribed so there's a lot of that going on so guys if you are not subscribed subscribe to the channel please please like comment and share hit that bell icon so you can get the notifications so YouTube is doing a lot of that uh, the last couple days my subscriber count has been taking a nosedive again I think I lost like 18 yesterday, and I'm down like 12 today, uh, for no reason, not, you know, other than the fact that, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's YouTube. As soon as I put a video up, my view, my subscriber count goes down, and uh, you know, I'm getting the views on the videos. Uh, it's just like I said, it's just games, and then of course, what they do, we get to that eight-hour mark, and it's and they've kind of varied it up a little bit now. So yesterday's video, they only did it for two hours. So thank you, YouTube, for only doing it for two hours. Got to the eight-hour mark. And as soon as we hit that eight hour mark, they froze the view count for the next two hours. They usually do it for four, okay? 
so they did it for two hours this time so thank you YouTube for only trying to screw me out of two hours of views and not four hours of views I don't know why they're doing this guys I don't know why the games are being played that the way that they are with YouTube but this has been going on for quite a while now um, and it's like I said it's not just me it's a lot of YouTubers that this is happening to. So I don't want to think that you, to, to say that, oh, I'm crying, poor me, poor me, because I'm not. I just wish that they would be fair and not try to screw people. That's, you know, that's kind of my thing. I love it when they come running up. Well, let's, let's see if I can. Chicka, chicka, chickies. Chicka, chicka, chickies. Here he comes. Here comes a rooster in the other hand. So that's Thick Neck. We call her Thick Neck. We got Blackie here. We got Red over here. This is Goliath. We haven't really named any of the white ones yet. Oh, we ac actually, um, the white rooster. Yeah, we wanted to name him. Oh, God, what were we going to name him? Um, Foghorn Leghorn. So I think that's what we were going to name him is Foghorn Leghorn, like after the cartoon. Because it's a big white chicken in that cartoon. We haven't got a name for her yet. So we're, we'll figure all this out. We just kind of... <laughs> We just kind of go with the flow, but uh, they're awesome chickens. They're really, really, they're very enjoyable to watch. Um, love spending time out here and just kind of hanging out with them. Uh, they'll eat right out of my hand, especially Goliath and Red. And then there's one of the white ones, too, that uh, she's very, very friendly. Will come right up and they eat right out of my hand. But they're pretty good chickens. You know, overall, they're really, really good. I do need to make a chicken tractor so I can take them out into different areas and let them go nuts in different areas and work the ground. But uh, my biggest thing with them is safety, so I want to make sure that they're safe, and that's why I have the netting on the top so that the chicken hawks and the owls and stuff cannot come in and get them, and they cannot get out as well. Because they like to sit on top of the box here, which is actually pretty funny. Um, I'll have to get some video of them on top of the box, but it's actually pretty neat. So, anyway... Um, I did want to mention, oh, and so, so, as soon as I say that, look at there you go, on top of the box. How funny is that? It's like that she knew what I was talking about. But there'll be two or three of them at a time up there on top of that box, and it is freaking hilarious. It is absolutely hilarious that they do that, but uh, so that's what they do. So anyway, guys, um, wanted to mention a couple things. We are continuing the sale on the website that just started yesterday. We're doing 20% off of everything. So that goes from bumper stickers, two coffee mugs, two t-shirts, 20% uh, off all that, 20% off of everything from the, on the legacy side as well. Uh, so that is there. If you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you will see that there. Also on my website, we have the Prepper Nurse one community, which you can be part of the community. Um, there and uh, it's free to join doesn't cost anything and it's a great way to connect with like-minded people like-minded preppers uh, or off-gridders and uh, share ideas the message boards there are always blowing up one of those horse flies love them they're my favorite uh, so anyway uh, they, that is uh, at my website again uh, it's free to join uh, you just have to register and it's very very private so you can go in there you can connect with like-minded people and, uh, you know, if you're looking to form a group or you're just looking to talk and chat, share ideas, it's a great place to do that. Uh, so, you can please feel free to check that out for your country or your state, however you want to do it there. We have that all right there. Uh, we also have prepper groups for singles. We have the, um, the uh, elderly, if you want to call it, I guess, uh, the geriatric group. So, um, the older group, anybody older that wants to talk, we have a, a disabled section in there as well. So there's a lot of different sections in there for people, okay? So uh, feel free to check that out as well. And I did want to mention also again, August 17th, we are having the Prepper Get Together at Letchworth State Park in New York. And that's going to be at Eddie's Pavilion, and that's E-D-D-Y-S Pavilion. Uh, once you come into the park, you have to pay to get into the park, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'm going to have to go and find out what the cost of that is to come into the park. But uh, ask them where Eddie's Pavilion is, and they can give you the map and show you exactly where it is. So there's no way you can get lost uh, in the park to find that. It's very, very easy. And so we're going to be doing that August 17th, starting at 9 in the morning. It's going to run all day until 10 o'clock at night. Uh, so, you know, probably wrap up things before then i'm sure but we'll see what happens depends on the turnout obviously but uh, i will be providing hot dogs and hamburgers for everybody a uh, little prepper lady said she's going to provide pop and uh, you know paper products and uh, silverware 
So we definitely are going to have a lot of stuff, guys, okay? What we ask is if you do plan on coming, let us know so we get an idea of a head count. And if you would bring a dish to pass, that's what we ask. Um, it's going to be a great opportunity to get together with like-minded people. With the craziness going around in the world, guys, uh, Ebola spreading, scary, scary stuff. Now the acceleration of what's going on in the Gulf. Again, this is all very, very scary stuff, and it can lead to a lot of really, really bad things. And so we need to be ready for that. We need to be prepared as we possibly can be. I hope you guys are continuing to prep. I hope you're continuing to get ready because it is definitely scary times for sure. And there's Mr. Buddy. So, guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this with the latest um, situation with the U.S. shooting down a drone uh, that came within 1,000 yards of one of our ships, um, you know, in the uh, Strait of Hormuth. So I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about that, what you think. we got Max over there laying on the table, just chilling out. Or the box, he's over on the box. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on. Remember, we are all in this together. It's important that we remember that because when the time comes, we are the ones that are truly going to make a difference. Preppers and off-graders are going to be the difference makers in what's coming. Okay. Also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important that we tell the people that we love every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can stop you. I'm going to kick this around, and I'm going to show you. It looks like we got rain coming in now. So if you kick it over this way, it looks pretty nice still. But this is what we got coming in. So it looks like we're going to get some rain here, more rain at the homestead. All right, guys. Um, try to keep you updated on what's happening, okay? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.